Today we're going to do an update on Litecoin. Previously we've covered it on the channel looking at Litecoin versus Ethereum and Litecoin versus Bitcoin. And of course we want to check out Litecoin versus the US dollar. So if you're interested in understanding Litecoin, whether it's a good investment for this bull run, then I suggest you stick around for the video as we'll go through it throughout. And if you want to understand more around charting and cryptocurrency updates of the news, hit the subscribe button down below here, bell notification icon and the like button to support the channel. All right, let's move on to the first piece. Now we see some fantastic news coming out yesterday, record $584 million of Litecoin futures open interest signals institutional inflow. So there's some pretty big numbers there, some pretty big words, some pretty big names, institutional, grayscale, half a billion dollars of interest. Uh, if we look a little further down, just talking about the pricing on Litecoin, which we'll get to in a moment, just where we're sitting in comparison to the all time high. And pretty much this looks very, very bullish for Litecoin, matter of just a lot of people talking about it or a lot of institutions where there is a lot of money talking about it and actively taking part in it. If we take a look at Grayscale's trusts, we know Grayscale has a huge Bitcoin trust, 27 billion. This is even old data. I think they're at around 30 billion now. It only takes a day to be out of date. Uh, Grayscale in terms of Ethereum, their trust, uh, 5.1 billion and Grayscale Litecoin trust is 200 million. So that is the third largest trust. They've got a digital large cap fund, but we're just looking at the individual cryptos. So Bitcoin's top, Ethereum and Litecoin. So it is a pretty big one in the space. A lot of people are interested in purchasing something to do with Litecoin, whether it's Litecoin itself or being part of the Litecoin trust fund with Grayscale. The point of this channel is to understand whether we are making a good investment or a not so good investment. And of course, I deliver it with a hopium free message, or at least I like to think I do. It's fun to get involved in the gambling and the hopium of the whole cryptocurrency space. It only comes around once every four years, but we want to make some life changing money and then turn that into something else. We want to flip it into land, stocks, hold some crypto and maybe even into some metals. So let's understand whether Litecoin is still a fantastic investment for 2021. As I've previously pointed out on the channel, it looks like it could take on Ethereum and Bitcoin for a short period of time. Currently we're at $180, that's 180 US, and we've had a quick spike up in the last 24 hours. It was currently sitting at around 150, 160-ish, and we've seen it skyrocket from that point. Now this is coin market cap, so I'm taking you here because we want to have a look at the different charts, the things that we need to be aware of if we are looking to invest in one asset over another. Now you might be able to see it already if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know I love to look at the yellow line. The yellow line is the Bitcoin value, the blue is the market cap and the green is the asset, the crypto versus the US dollar. US dollar market cap both are going up, but you can quickly see that the yellow is not. So let's take off the price, let's take off the market cap. Now the yellow is basically trending out and down. I did a video on the channel recently around, I think it was around top eight cryptocurrencies, which will go to zero. Of course, that's just a saying. They are pretty much looking like they're dead. Hopefully we don't add Litecoin to this list. And what I'm talking about here is this trend against Bitcoin value. We would be better off holding Bitcoin than we are holding Litecoin at this point in time. So if you're a lover of Litecoin, I know there are a lot of you out there. We want to see this thing pump. Let's have a quick look at the chart and take a look at the US dollar. So we have seen it pump against the US dollar, but are we just playing catch up to the Bitcoin value? So let's take a quick measured move from the low. So this is the low of the COVID low to the current, let's call it, let's go for the top, scroll that back, around 680%. If you want, let's call it 700%. Now let's take a look at Bitcoin and we're just going to scroll up to that BTC USD. We're currently around 40, what, 45,000 US dollars. Now we've got the March low here. Take another measured move, measure it to the top, 1100%. So 
So Litecoin has a lot of catching up to do to at least come into a line with Bitcoin's basically massive rise from that same March low. Now let's do the same measure with Ethereum. So this is the March low just back here and to the current top 1900%, so nearly 2000%. So Litecoin is very, very far behind. And I'm not saying it can't catch up and it can't give us some gains, but we would have been better off holding Ethereum over Bitcoin and of course over Litecoin as well. That's why we're coming in at this point and we are hoping that we can catch a move on Litecoin and give us some more Bitcoin and Ethereum. Not that I hate on the project, but in terms of making money and cashing in, then it's probably not a good long-term investment considering how bad Litecoin is doing against Bitcoin. Now, if you remember from the last video we did on Litecoin, this is the area that we were tracking. We're looking at getting in under the 0.004% uh, of a Bitcoin. And that was coming up uh, just a couple of weeks ago now, a few weeks ago. And we do have a similar entry still. The point we were looking at for an exit is if it broke down and broke these lows. Now we did see that yesterday, but today we saw a swift reversal from that. So if we bring it back to a daily chart, we can see it's taken a couple of days and we've reversed. So it was a quick plunge to those lows, potentially wiping out the weekends. And we've now seen strong volume on the push up. So this is the first great sign that we could begin to see the up leg move of Litecoin. You might be having a look here and we see a lot of volume back on the 11th of January. That was around the time that Bitcoin had its high of, on the 8th of January and then later dumped into that low. So uh, Litecoin has been holding up reasonably well since that dump. So I think it is starting to get a move on. It looks like the accumulation is about to end. We wanna see this level just here basically get taken out. So that point there, and then for the market to hold above that level. So essentially something like that to retest that 0.0042. And we wanna see that as a sign of strength leading into Litecoin potentially taking out this downwards channel. So we want it to break through, maybe retest or maybe go on from that point. The other positive for Litecoin during this potential run up and maybe we'll be able to double or triple our Bitcoin on this next move is that we know Litecoin does strong, hard, fast, quick, massive moves straight up from history. We can see it back here in 2017 and again 2018, but it is always followed by a long drawn out dump mostly from what I've seen because people get too emotionally attached to Litecoin uh, probably against some number like Litecoin's going to 5,000 or 10,000 or something crazy like that. And they hold on in the hope that Litecoin will one day come back to that price point. And like we've seen in the past, it never gets there. Can Litecoin hit $1,000? I'm pretty sure it can hit $1,000 on this run. That's basically five times from where we are. Litecoin is currently way under Bitcoin's move, Bitcoin's down 1100% since it's low and Litecoin's only around 700%. So even with that involved, if Litecoin can really push on from here, I think we could see a thousand dollar Litecoin for the first time. So that's gonna skew a lot of people's interpretations of what's actually going on. Unfortunately, it's been a pretty bad investment against Bitcoin, but in terms of a asset that we can use to flip and regain some more Bitcoin or Ethereum, I think it could be set up for something pretty special in the near future, especially with this current pattern here. A lot of volume is happening. The main thing we wanna be uh, concerned with is that we don't see the lows continue to be taken out and this trend fall even lower and lower as Bitcoin and Ethereum rise. That could be the problem to this whole plan. So the beauty about where we are now is that we're so early in the piece to potentially get this doubling or tripling of our Bitcoin or uh, well, of our Bitcoin value. Because if we have a look at the Ethereum versus Litecoin, it's not doing as well as we would have liked. Uh, Ethereum has just crushed Litecoin and Litecoin is struggling. It's broken through its lows and continues to head lower. So in terms of looking at Litecoin as investment against Ethereum, I have to go back on what we talked about in the last video. It has not been a fantastic investment against Ethereum. Ethereum is still 
a better investment to make financial gains than Litecoin. However, it looks like Litecoin could regain some Bitcoin value. So that just shows me that maybe Ethereum is going to continue improving its strength against Bitcoin and then Litecoin will have to play the catch up game, take over the, the Bitcoin value for a period of time and then possibly fade out again like it's done in its entire history. And this is Litecoin versus Ethereum. Again, it did have a pretty solid run up into 2019 as we went through or around that space of its halving. But ever since then, it has fallen broken to new lows which is not a good sign so we need to keep that in mind and if we aren't interested in ethereum we hate ethereum we don't think it's going to do anything we think cardano is the winner or polka dot's going to be the winner or any number of smart contracts and we don't care about ethereum then don't look at this chart but if you're wanting to make money in the space then ethereum so far has been a much better investment than litecoin so our saving grace just to recap before we finish up for the litecoin update is the potential of litecoin to do some short sharp extremely fast moves against bitcoin but we don't want to be caught out either because these things can spike and then drop off for years just like we saw 2015 that took about two years uh, until it saw another pump another long period before it pumped again again and again and the overall trend is down before we wrap up let's just take a quick look at how much we may expect from litecoin currently we're around that 0 0.004 the next resistance level is at around 0 0.0077 somewhere around that 0 0.008 so we could get a doubling before we run into too much pressure uh, of course there are some other levels here just a little way away about a 50 percent move from where we are and the next piece from where we are after the doubling which is at 0 0.008 we could have some free ground to move up to around a 200% level, somewhere beneath these lows or just above it, depending on how fast and hard Litecoin is pumping. We know it has the potential to do that. Now, I would expect that we, we would hit this downwards trend line again, this pink one, maybe surpass it a little bit and then come back. That's a pretty decent spike through it, but it has never found support above this level. So I don't wanna be too over the top with price projections if we tried for around a 0 0.012 that gives us about a 200 percent from where we are now if bitcoin didn't move from where we are now and we're sitting at around 180 200 litecoin then that shows us we could get to a 600 litecoin pretty easily but we're mostly of the view that bitcoin is also going to move and so say it doubled from where it is to a hundred thousand dollar bitcoin that would give us our 12 hundred dollar litecoin if it was also able to push through on its bitcoin value and get up 200 percent so that's my realistic look at litecoin and where it could potentially go in terms of its btc price and its us dollar price i still think there is some hope in the tank for litecoin but the worst thing we want to the thing we don't want to see i should say is the breaking of these lows here that would be all bets off if it broke down and stayed under that level, it would be a very, very hard time for Litecoin to come back. A little spike under and back above, not too bad. That's gonna be the point that we don't wanna see, but there is still hope, still potential for the market to push up, retest our downwards trend line here, basically our pink line that's heading down with Litecoin, and hopefully we can make uh, 100 or 200 percent back on our Bitcoin value. So let's keep tracking that on the channel. If you are interested in following along with that, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon so you can be updated when these videos come out. Leave us a like if you found some value from the video.